Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Baiklah di video kali ini kita akan uh, membincangkan soalan yang berkaitan dengan dual selection untuk menghasilkan pseudo code daripada problem analysis ataupun IPO. Okey, so macam mana nak determine adakah soalan tu soalan selection yang ada dual selection? Okey, dual selection ni bermaksud kita ada dua statement, okey, dua statement yang kita nak execute sama ada statement itu adalah message means we have two message ataupun kita ada formula. Okey, we have two formula to calculate. Okey, so that's part we call a dual selection. Okey, so how to create a pseudo code for dual selection? Okay, so let's start with the first question. Okay, dual selection means we have the first condition we put uh, if and the second condition we put else. So, dual selection means we have if and else. One if and one else. Alright. Okay, look at the question number one. If a student's If a student is in module 2 group So kita nampak kat sini perkataan if Maksudnya dia adalah selection And then kita kena identify Sama ada dia single, dual Ataupun multiple selection So kalau dual selection means ada dua statement So kita cari apakah statement dia Adakah dia statementnya message Atau statementnya adalah formula Alright so dia punya condition adalah module 2 Module 2 and then dia akan display message. So, statement kat sini adalah message. The first message is the student is taking computer science subject. That is the first message. And the other one is the student is taking biology subject. Uh, so, dia ada dua statement yang dia nak execute. Either the first one is a computer science subject or the second one is biology subject. Means ada two statement. So, if two statement, the first statement is if, the second statement if else. Okay. So, that is the problem analysis. Okay. Let's start with the pseudocode. Pseudocode, we start with begin and pair with end or start, pair with stop. Okay. Input change to read. Okay. Kita nak read apa? Read module. Okay. Read module. Then, Determine whether Determine whether means selection Okay If dekat dalam ini adalah dia punya condition Apakah condition dia Module is equal to 2 So kita boleh tulis module equal to That is the condition So if true Okay Ini jika dia true Dia akan keluar The student is taking computer science subject Yang ini yang dia akan keluarkan Jika dia true Tapi kalau dia false dia akan go to the second option Ok, the student is taking biology subject Second option So, itu kita panggil dual selection eh. If, jika true this condition Dia akan print The student is taking computer science subject Jika dia false Maksudnya, maybe student tu masukkan modul dia adalah 3 So, 3 sama dengan 2 False Jadi, dia akan keluar student is taking biology subject Ok Okay, next kita pergi sec, uh, second question. Okay, determine whether a number entered by user is an even or odd number. So, kita ada dua message yang kita nak execute, execute dekat sini sama ada nombor itu adalah even ataupun nombor itu adalah odd. Okay, jadi read input kita akan bertukar menjadi read dan number input number so dekat sini dia akan jadi read number ok if determine whether a number is an even number or odd number ok how to determine even number or odd number we have only one formula to determine whether that number is even or odd number which is we use the modulus ok modulus so number modulus to equal Zero. Maksudnya nombor itu bila kita modulus dengan dua Kita akan dapat dia punya remainder zero okay. Ataupun kalau dalam programming Kita akan tulis number modulus 2 Equal zero Ini jika dalam coding okay. Jika dalam coding 
ha, Dalam coding kita akan tulis macam ni eh. Tapi dalam pseudocode kita tak boleh tulis macam ni Kita kena guna secara ni Kita tak boleh guna any uh, java symbol in pseudocode Okay, so apa maksud number modulus 2 equal to Maksudnya nombor, nombor Let's say my number is 10 Bila nombor 10 modulus dengan 2 Adakah dapat kosong? Macam mana nak kira? 10 kita divide by 2 And then kita ambil dia punya remainder So kalau 10 divide by 2 Kita akan dapat 5 And remainder 0 So remainder remainder. So 10 modulus 2 We get remainder is 0 So 0 equal 0 True If true So kita akan print dekat sini If true dia adalah Even number Right Even number But if Okay, if I take uh, 11 modulus by 2, is it equal 0? 11 modulus by 2, kita akan dapat 5 and dia punya remainder dapat 1. Means uh, 11 modulus 2 is equal 1. 1 equal 0, false. So, bila false, dekat sini bila false, dia akan print odd. Okay, so that is the formula to determine whether that number is even or odd number okay the modulus all right okay next question eh remember dual selection mean we have if with the condition and else no condition else no condition straight away write the output okay third question my health magazine is sold at RM5 ish if at least 5 units of the magazine are purchased and it is sold at the price of RM7 ish otherwise calculate the price the customer has to pay after he enters the quantity of the magazine that he purchased ok so kita nampak kat sini keyword enter the quantities maksudnya ini ada dia punya input ok so kita akan read kita punya quantity so apa yang kita nampak kita buat dulu quantity alright so kita ada condition di sini apakah conditionnya hmm okey uh, rm5 at least 5 unit that is the first condition okey at least 5 unit okey jadi dekat sini kita akan buat if quantity at least 5 unit means uh, more equal 5 right 5 and above at least 5 units means 5 and above so kita akan bayar ok eh sorry indentation ok indentation so kita akan payment kita akan jadi berapa ok payment kita RM5 satu so 5 will multiply with the quantity ok else otherwise ok see RM7 is otherwise so that is the second condition which is we put else so else kita akan buat indentation payment 7 Okay, 7 multiply with the quantity. So, print payment. Okay, variable kena consistent. Okay, so tengok dekat sini. Okay, dual selection bermaksud. Okay, kita ada two statement sama ada statement itu adalah message. Okay, for question number one and number two is a message. Question number three is a formula. We have two different formula based on the condition. Okay, this is for the first question. We have two statement. Second question, also the statement, the message. But the third question, we have two different formula. Okay. Okay, next. Next question. Question number four. A program will ask user to enter age for two peoples where the values entered will be stored in variables h1 and h2 display the first person is older when h1 is greater than h2 else display the second person is older so we have two message here this is the first message means the first statement that we want to be execute and this is the second statement that we want to be execute okay what is the condition 
Okay, enters to H to people. Okay, means kita punya input is H1, H2. So, input dia akan jadi read H1, H2. Okay, so condition. What is the condition? Um, H1 is greater than H2. That is the first condition. So, we just write here. H1 greater H2. So, apa message yang akan keluar? That is the first message. So, kita akan buat print di sini. Okay. Uh, so, kita tukar ke blue color. Okay. Else. Okay, else. Else, no condition. No condition. Terus kita print. Okay. Kita buat warna biru. Okay, terus kita print adakah terlalu besar tulisan dia ok the second ok and if and close with and if ok basically kalau message dia akan berada kita print di dalam tapi kalau value ini hanya formula saja kita tak print dekat sini kita print last sekali uh, means the system will determine maybe the first formula or the second formula then later on baru dia akan print ok itu perbezaan dia kalau formula dia akan print kemudian kalau message dia akan terus print di sini di dalam alright ok next question number 5 which is this is the last question for dual selection ok calculate BMI when a user enters weight and high print please reduce your weight if BMI is greater and equal to 25.0 if not print you have an idea weight ok so we have two statement yang kita nak execute the first one is reduce your weight and the second one is you have an idea weight but before we determine the message we have to calculate BMI ok calculate BMI so kita read ini enter means our input weight and height so kita read weight and height ok read weight and height then we have to calculate first to get the value of BMI so kena kira dulu kena kira dulu ok lepas masuk kita kena kira dulu ha, BMI equal formula dia adalah weight divide by height darab dengan height ok height darab dengan height ok lepas tu bila kita dapat BMI baru kita tanya condition dekat sini ok see if BMI is greater and equal 25.0 so that is the first condition ok BMI greater or equal oh sorry we cannot use this formula this formula is for uh, java program ok let uh, sorry ok this one tak boleh guna ni sorry ok kita mesti guna uh, insert uh, special character ok so kita mesti guna tadi equal Oh. oh sorry 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 Ah ok baru betul So kena guna simbol ni eh Tadi simbol java tak boleh guna dalam sudo kod Sorry lupa Ok so kita patah balik BMI More equal Equal 25.0 Ok then apa yang dia akan buat Jika true Dia akan print Jika true dia akan print benda ni eh. ok so I kecikkan sikit dia punya tulisan awak dia tak mau. Oh. Hmm. ok jika false kita akan print So, BMI korang berapa sekarang ni? Dah PKP duduk rumah, makan tidur, makan tidur, lepas study sikit. 
Ha, okay, so BMI kena jaga eh. Saya pun dah kembung dah. Duduk rumah makan je. Okay, so print kita buat piruk kecil lah. Okay. Hmm, kecilkan sikit tulisan. Okay. Settle. Okay. Habis dah soalan. So, ini adalah dual selection. Iaitu ada if dan juga ada else. Okay guys, bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh.